Hi, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef of Korea. Today's video is actually a follow-up of last week's video. Uh, to recap, last week, uh, if you follow me or you go back to the previous video, you'll notice that I talk about, I was talking about raw phos and how to bring down uh, the phosphate, you know, a phosphate remover, and that I was going to try first the filter sock that's included with it. Well, I went ahead and did that, but it didn't work. Uh, phosphate really didn't go down and so I went ahead and I installed the reactor. So this video is about what actually happened and I'm going to go over uh, some basic things when it comes to the reactor and then again I'm going to show you the behavior of, of the corals. So hold on one second. Okay so here we are close to the uh, reactor. I went ahead first I'm going to explain what actually happened. Okay so what happened was that uh, I went ahead and as you must be aware uh, and if you follow me when it comes to previous videos and I talk about um, when you add things to the uh, water column and it says so many gallons and all that I usually go by the water volume so this tank as you know is a innovative marine uh, nouveau or fusion 40 but that's with air but when you deduct mass which is the rocks, the corals, and all that, by my water changes, uh, I've noticed that actually what I have in water, in, in, you know, the empty space, the water is actually between 25 and 27 gallons of water. So when I got the row of us, I went ahead and I uh, did it accordingly to 25 gallons, which would be a quarter of a cup. So I uh, went ahead and I added, a matter of fact, if you hold on, I'll uh, show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here we are. And you see the, the raw phos brings its own um, filter sock. So, with a, a little, let me show you here. It brings a, a little clip where you go ahead, you close it and you clip it. And this is actually the filter sock. So I went ahead and I put a quarter of a cup, which is the indication for 25 or 27 uh, gallons of water. I did that and I uh, placed it on the custom caddy, which I have here. Uh, I placed it on, on the middle one. Well, I went ahead and did that and I waited and waited and it uh, didn't do anything. So I went ahead Friday. I did uh, like, a, I'd say like about a, a 20 percent water change. So at that point in time, my PO4 was at 21. So when I did that and I, I did the water change, it, it went up to 27. So the next step was, well, wait a minute, let me add a little more uh, raw FOSS, because what they say is to start low. You know, don't, don't put too much, so I, I put the baseline of between 25 and 27 gallons of water. So I added another, excuse me, a quarter of a cup, which would be equivalent to more or less 40 gallons. I did that, and I waited a couple of days, like one or two days, and actually it went up from 21 uh, to 27. So I said, that's it, I have to go ahead and use the reactor. So what I did is, before I show you basically the mechanics of it and what I actually did, what I did is the, the heater uh, uh, used to be here. So I got the heater and uh, uh, it's, I mean, you can't see it now, but it's, it's actually on the inner side of, of the wall of the center, uh, the center chamber, which is actually where the pump is. And then your two exhausts come out. So since it's a uh, neotherm heater, which are, are very thin, I managed to put it here with a little holder, the suction cups. And then on the back, I have the ATO, the uh, optical and the, the other sensor. So it's, it's, it's fine. It doesn't touch anything. And, 
and it doesn't affect anything. So uh, let me show you basically how this actually works. Okay, so here I am on my little uh, step ladder and uh, how they work, how these type of uh, reactors work, this is from uh, Aqua Gadget and this is the midsize, which is compatible to uh, this tank. Okay, uh, what happens is when you turn it on, if uh, every time you move this around is to either clockwise or counterclockwise, it will either uh, increase the flow or decrease the actual flow. Now this is the outer chamber, but let me show you the inner chamber. This is the, the inner chamber. Okay, now here, the way I, I set this up is uh, since raw fast is uh, very fine, they say they recommend to actually put, it brings four sponges, two on the bottom and two on the top, if it's a very fine uh, media, this happens to be very fine. So I put the, the uh, two sponges on the bottom, and if you can see more or less, I have the, uh, the other two here. Okay, now what happened is, uh, this actually was filled up to about here, because not only did I increase it to let's say like uh, a half a cup, which would be equivalent for 40 gallons, but for safety purposes, which was a mistake on my side, I added another quarter. So the raw foster that I have here now is like a, a quarter of a cup, which is about here. I actually had it way up here. So what happened is that I went ahead, I turned it on, I, I set it up, I calibrated it how it says accordingly by the instructions. I calibrated it, I put it back on the back, and I opened it completely. I, I didn't check the flow because the PO4 had gone up uh, drastically. So what happened is in 24 hours, it actually went all the way down to zero, uh, PO4. Now that is not safe because it actually chocks the uh, corals in 24 hours. Uh, the same way that, let's say, um, the phosphates start to go up uh, slowly but surely, then you have to bring them down slowly, but not, you know, like rapidly. The corals can, can actually uh, go on shock. Okay, so then following up, uh, what I had to do immediately was to turn off the reactor, which I actually did, and then I had to bring it out. Uh, I had to take out uh, the media, as I showed you right now. I had to take that extra media that I put, and now what you see there is a little less than a quarter of a cup. So now I'm waiting. This happened uh, Monday. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I, I just checked it about a, a couple of minutes ago. Now with a hand checker with a Salifer. And it's giving me a reading of I'd say like 0 0.04 or 0 0.05 which is sweet. It's a sweet spot. But being a, a mixed reef you can go up until about like 10. 10 or 12 is, is fine. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, check it with a HANA checker. And then based on that, I'll take the uh, appropriate action, either turn it on or, uh, you know, since I have less, uh, I, I have to see how I'm going to gauge this. Either keep it on 24-7 since I lowered it and keep the same uh, regimen of feeding or should I put it on a timer and just put it like, let's say, put it on nights and doing, or uh, vice versa, like uh, put it on, like, let's say during the day and at night, just turn it off. But for now, I'm, I'm gauging it. The tank looks more stable. Uh, I checked the parameters. They are stabilizing. But okay, so that's what actually happened. I, again, to reiterate, I ended up installing the uh, reactor and I'm going to gauge it as I explain on the video. I hope you found this uh, video educational, informative, so you don't make the same mistakes that I made and by educating all of you out there then you know what, how the corals behave, the fish, and what to look out for. So I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Now next to, the, to that you have like the little bell, that's the notification bell. So if you depress that, that'll activate and every time I upload a video, which is usually weekly, you'll be the first ones to know that I did so. 
And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, keep safe and until next time. Bye-bye.